Hi guys! And today we are listening to Sabaton, Lady of the Dark, which is about Milunka Savic, who is Yay. who was a Serbian war hero, and she is the most uh, decorated female combatant in the history of warfare. Yeah. And as some of you may know, we are from Serbia, so yeah. this is very touching for us. Thank you so much, Sabaton, yes. for making this song. Like, my God, I can't believe. Yeah, and we are finally doing it. <laughs> yeah. It's been a while. Yeah, it came out months ago. <laughs> it's been a while. Yeah. <laughs> so I can't wait to hear it. Yes, me too. And uh, we'll probably now read the lyrics and talk about Milonka. Also, today is November 11th. It is Armistice Day. It's a national holiday here in Serbia. Yes. So... Great. Now I will tell you a little bit about Milunka while you watch the footage I recorded when I visited uh, her memorial room in Yashaniška Banja. So, enjoy! <laughs> Milunka Savic was born in 1888 in the village of Koprivnica in Yashaniška Banja near Raška. She had two sisters and a brother. When her brother got called to the army to serve in First Balkan War in 1912, Milunka decided to cut her hair short and disguised as a man, she took her brother's place. She fought in Balkan Wars and World War I as a member of the famous Iron Regiment. She was wounded nine times and the hardest one for her was when she was wounded in the Second Balkan War when her gender was discovered. After she recovered, the Duke Radomir Putnik offered her a transfer to the nursing division, which she refused. She said, Duke, I want a rifle. He said he'll think about it and gave her the answer the next day. She stood there and responded, I will wait. And she kept standing in that position for the entire hour. After one hour she was told to get back to the camp and continue fighting the enemy. And they did the right thing by letting her fight, because Milunka was one of the best Serbian soldiers of her generation. In the Battle of Crnareka in the late 1960, she managed to capture 23 Bulgarian soldiers by herself. After that, she received Karadjorje Star with Swords, which is Serbia's highest civilian and military decoration. Alongside Karadjorje Star with Swords, she has many other medals, some of which are Golden and Silver Medals of Bravery Miloš Obilić, Albanian Retreat Medal, Russian Cross of St. George, British Medal of the Most Distinguished Order of St. Michael, French Legion of Honor Medal, and she was the only female recipient of the French Croix de Guerre with the Gold Palm Attribute for service in World War I. French even asked her to move to Paris and take an army pension, but she rejected that offer and decided to stay in Serbia. During the World War II, Milunka refused to attend a banquet organized by Prime Minister of Occupied Yugoslavia, Milan Nedic. She was arrested and taken to concentration camp. After spending 10 months there, a German general found out who she was and he released Milunka with all the military honors. In 1972, due to the public pressure and the news highlighting her financial situation, the Belgrade City Assembly gave her a small apartment in Belgrade. One year later, she suffered a stroke and died on October 5th, at the age of 85. Oh, nice. oh yeah! Woo! Love this trip. Yeah. 
And this have so good. Bomb. So good. Nice bass. Yeah. Oh, hell yeah. Fighting the tears. Oh, so proud. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Raise the head. Yes. So good. It's so catchy. Oh. My God. Yes. <laughs> the riff and. Yeah. My God. From the beginning, it was so catchy. <laughs> yeah. Like immediately when I heard the guitars, I'm like, yes, yes, that's it. <laughs> yeah. <gasps> oh my God. I like the lyrics as well. Yeah. It's so powerful. Yes. Oof. My god. Instrumentally, it's great. The bass. Oh, the bass, the, the guitars, drums. the drums, everything. Yeah. Oh, so good, so good, so fucking good. <sighs> I was hoping for like a little like breakdown when that happened, like nearing the end of the song. Okay. But nope. Well, yeah. I mean, who cares? Still great. Love this song. Oh my god. One of my favorites yeah. like, that we done from Sabaton. I might be biased, but... <laughs> <sighs> Who shall be remembered in the ancient house of art? All the medals, all the stories in the alley of the greats. Celebrated hero who has uh, wandered through the dark. She stand before you, all that metal shining bright. Lost in time, returning to the light, bow before this lady fights for life. So, sister, raise your hand for the lady of the dark. Soldier with no will to kill, with a philanthropic heart. Forever break the norm, she's the girl in uniform, fighting side by side with men. She will fight until the end. I I'm like gonna cry the... now, shut up! <laughs> <laughs> I like the rhymes. Yeah, <gasps> me too. So good. <laughs> okay. Um, like to be a respected and to change her brother's fate took a bullet earned her freedom and a place among the stars served the iron squadron squadron yeah <laughs> yeah served uh, the toughest of them all no fear of dying for the front line she was born sacrifice she took her brother's place war to war a place where she belongs so brother don't fear the reaper, don't fear the war, she spared the life of brothers. She'll fight for honor, she'll fight for life, a lady goes to war. Ah, Milunka! <laughs> <laughs> okay. Oh my god. Uh, uh, well, as it said in the uh, lyrics, she took her brother's place. Yes. She went to war to protect and her. Younger brother. 
Yeah. I mean, I think she wanted to go to war anyway, but she couldn't because she was a woman, you know. Woman, yeah. yeah. There were, like, uh, not many women fighting back then, you know. I mean, yeah. they they were working like nurses, mostly. Yeah, that's true. And, uh, like, when they re- uh, re- revealed her sex. <laughs> well, when... The what happened? Sh- they didn't... Didn't yeah, they, her, they, right? like, sh- she, I don't know, in, like, uh, second Balkan War, she was wounded, and that's when they discovered that she was a woman, and, uh, oh, like, okay. they were, I mean, I'm probably gonna say stuff that I already said before, but I'm gonna repeat myself, okay. but, yeah. uh, so I'm gonna tell you, uh, okay. they want to send her to be, like, a nurse or something, you know, but okay. she was like, nope. Nope, I'm not going anywhere, you know. I want to fight. Yeah. And they were like, after a little bit of like, thinking about it, and you know. And they were like, okay, yeah. go fight. Yeah, you're right. <laughs> you're right, woman. Go fight. Uh, yeah. <sighs> wow. That's inspiring. Yes. Yeah. I mean, her story is just unbelievable. Yeah, I think afterwards she didn't want anything like, I don't know, praises or from country. I mean, she, she like, the French people, they were like, oh, come live in France, we will give you, like, yeah. pension, you know. She and she was like, no, to. no, I will stay in my country. Yeah. Lost in time, returning to light, because she's been forgotten for a while. Like, people, people yeah. just didn't care back in the day. You know, the war yeah. ended and people were like, oh, yeah, Milonko, whatever. <laughs> you know, nobody yeah. remembered her. <laughs> that was shitty. Yeah. And especially like <laughs> in do. the like, communistic times, you know, when, when communism yeah. was big in our country. Like, obviously yeah. she wasn't a communist, so they were like, fuck you, Milonko. Which <laughs> is not cool. Like, now we know about her like we learned about her in school but like yeah, older course, generations they didn't ever like know anything about her she Talk wasn't about, like mentioned yeah. in history books or anything yeah that that's fucked up yeah <gasps> soldier with no will to kill with a philanthropic heart like she was just uh, yeah. such a beautiful human being she yes. she adopted three kids and she also helped, Afterwards? like, raise and, uh, like, school or educate, like, thir- yeah, 30 yeah, yeah. more kids, so. Yes, 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 I know about that. There's, like, a story where she, like, captured, like, I think, like, 23 Bulgarian soldiers. And she, yeah. like, uh. I don't know, she went into their, like, trenches and she, like, make- made them surrender <laughs> without killing them. Oh, okay. Like, okay. she managed to, like, sneak up on them and convince them that, like, they were just in a hopeless position, you know? And then, like, they will yeah. just die if they don't surrender. Yes. And they listen to her and she saved them. That That's so yeah. good. Like, if everyone was like her. Yeah. <gasps> and, and also, like, one of, the, like, the people she saved was, like, uh, oh, what's his name? Corporal Minko. And, like, years later, when wars ended and all that, like, he sent his son to Belgrade to, like, go to school or whatever. And he, okay. he asked Milunka to, like, help him, like, take care of him. And she did that. Yeah. She, like, helped him out. Yeah. And then he married her daughter. Isn't that just beautiful? <laughs> oh, okay. That's just what? <laughs> Crazy. Yeah. Well, she was a great person. Like. Yeah. <laughs> very beautiful, beautiful soul person. And a fucking badass. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> well, she... When you hear that uh, she took a place for her brother... Yeah, that's just... Like... <laughs> and even, like, didn't want to kill enemies. Yeah, <laughs> like, that's... People should, like, make a movie about her. Definitely, yeah, like. probably, <laughs> definitely. Uh, also, you were <sighs> you were like kind kind of confused about like Iron Squadron, or like that's Iron Regiment, you know, like. Was uh, Natalia? 
Chola si. Ah, you okay. heard. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. About yeah, yeah. Iron Regiment, which was formed yes. like near us in the Prokuplje. Oh, yeah. But it had like a, a garnison in Dish where we are from. So. Yeah. And the soldiers were like drafted from uh, Toplice Jablonica and Zaplanje. And Zaplanje is also where Granddad is from, was from. Yeah. R.I.P. Granddad. Yes. <sighs> so, yeah. Well, my grandma is from Zaplanje. Yeah, <laughs> so. We are proud oh. to be partially from Zaplanje. <laughs> <laughs> kind of. So. Well. That was great. I'm thankful and grateful yeah, for, like, for this, crazy, for this song yes. and Sabaton. Like, thank you so much, Sabaton. This is crazy. Yes. Like our like our artists, our musicians, like nobody makes songs about like our heroes. And, yeah. And we had so many. So many. That's true. Like that is true. <sighs> well uh Thank you for all of your suggestions. Yes, we forgot to mention people who recommended this song. So yeah. these are the people, <sighs> all of the people. So thank you so much. Yes. <laughs> and uh, that would be all for now. We'll see you in the next video. Bye. Bye. Nek kada ste bili ranjeni, tada su utvrdili da ste žena. Ono je, jesu ono bilo. Kad su me privijali, pa te gdje me primjestile s mjesta na mjesto, onda te jedan kaza, pa to je jedna ženska, da onda ćemo samo, ne ne kaže ovaj vojnik. I poslije dođe, da me pogledi, dođe drugi, treći, i onda mi pitaju, da ste i curica, kaže mi ja jesu. Kako sada živite, vidim, dobili ste nov stan, nameštaj i tako? Ja sam ovdje, fino mi je, tako fino, nisam ništa, nisam tužna.